Irish Drum Radio presents Areca Bessa's 25th Bliss Festival at the Penny Saver Amphitheater in Farmingville, New York. Harlem Week celebrates its 44th year in 2018. We chat with Lloyd Williams, CEO of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. It's about a state of mind. And so whether you're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or Kingston, Jamaica, or Brixton, England, or Roxbury, Massachusetts, or the South Bronx, you're in a Harlem state of mind. Eight Caribbean community beauties compete for the 2018 Miss New York Continental Cultural Pageant Crown. An evening of food, fun, music, and appreciation at the upscale Blue and Bougie Forever Blue Summer Event held at the Tennis Club of Hastings on the Hudson. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Yeah man, welcome. You're watching Come Chat With Me. And today we are live, seeing we're at the Araka Bessa Bliss Festival out here in Farmingville, Long Island. Seeing what heap of artists? Yellow Man, Assassin, Tanya Steven, yo, just to name a few, Coco T, the thing up right now, so here, wanna keep it locked, seeing a rock of best of bliss festival, boom blast, come chat to me, we don't know the house, Ziggy Bless, ma, to the thing, out. Ari Jam Radio celebrated their 25th anniversary on the airwaves of New York City with the Araka of bliss festival. The all white dress code and inclusive festival was held at the spacious and accommodating Penny Saver Amphitheater in Farmingsville, New York. Die Art fans and supporters enjoyed the high energy stage performances. Great food and drinks were available everywhere on site. The Araka Bessa Bliss Festival was a great afternoon into evening of relaxing grown up fun. The lineup included top professional artists Mikey Spice, Agent Sasko, Tanya Stevens, Lady G, Coco T, King Yellowman, and more. The production generously included women in reggae. A wonderful lineup, I must say, you know what I mean? I love the lineup and thing, you know what I mean? Who put the lineup together, man? We just want to really look curious. Well, it's, it's Irish Jam Radio, I mean, 25 years of radio. Yes. And we decided that we'll bring back some faces and some voices that you haven't seen in a little while. Mike is spicy, you don't see or hear him every day. Bring back Tanya Stevens, you don't see her all the while. So we just decided, say, we'll do it a little different. And we just decided that we want to introduce back the audience to some voices that made a mark in other music. So that's why it's set the way it's set. You know, we'll go up on stage, we'll go up on stage for have fun. Yeah. So I just saw the things that you have to first start have fun with yourself. Then the people will feel that energy and feed into that energy. Ash, what's up, everything? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to just be on the stage a while ago with Agent Sasso. How was that vibe, Zama? How was the feeling? Energy out there, how was it? Just good. First of all, everybody looked nice and pretty and in them white. white yeah. And I know what summertime means to people in New York. That, you know, the, the weather is great. But on top of that, it's just good to be here and to be sharing my talent and to be on the stage with Sasko for him to give me that little window to, to show my talent. I'm so appreciative. Lovely Tanya Steven. <laughs> no man, I saw my love fool around. My things are life too short for it to do nothing but enjoy it and have fun with one another. Poco D's just shell them the place. I can easily say already, take the show already, because I've been here all day, yeah. and trust me, it's the best response from the crowd so far. What was the energy for you, Cockatee? Great, 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 great. You don't know, you don't know, Cockatee always brings the energy, because guess what I'm 
We love the thing like that. We love the music. We love the people, and we we'll come perform, we'll perform to the best of our ability. You know. Come chat with me. We are in the house, backstage vibes, nice vibe with King Yellowman and K Rima. I must say, wonderful performance. Yellowman, very upliftment speech. I love it. I love the vibe. What are you feeling, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Very, very nice to meet you. Of all the years I've been listening to you. Carry my nice vibe on the stage. It was a vibe for you. Yeah, man, it was great. It was great. And she was amazing. So yeah, I had a fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Carry Jam started some 25 years ago, similarly to Team Jamaica Bicker. Uh, over the years, we have had a symbiotic relationship. Ari Jam supports all that we do. It's a platform for us to communicate to our community. Because as you know, we depend largely on funding from you, the stakeholders. And so we have to have, uh, we have to demonstrate our respect um, to those who are supportive of what we do. And Ari Jam Media, um, servicing the Caribbean diaspora for 25 years is a significant milestone and it's a lot of respect goes there. I'm running to Nesbet. You don't know. What going, brother? My heart too clean for care one job of good for eaters. I know everybody who you help now going to turn around and return the favors. I know who they they for you now, but I who going to they for you later. Me just a go and do the good and go to. Go and do the good and go to. Man oh, just man. a go and do the good and go to. And I told me I do the good and go to. Let me do a rock a besta stage. A rock a besta 2018 backstage. You see yeah. me I say? Mikey Spice, who just closed the show. Short but spicy. The ladies them love it. Mikey Spice, how everything, man? I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm so disappointed and at the same time I'm so happy. I'm yeah. able to be in New York after all these years. Yeah. My only disappointment I didn't get a chance to perform the way I wanted to right. but guess what the people see me yeah. I'm gonna see the people Welcome to come chat with me and I am very honored right now to stand in next to Mr. Lloyd Williams who is the chairman and the co-founder of Harlem Week. Thank you very much sir, how are you doing? No thank you and it's an honor to be on your program. One of my favorites and I've been with CIN for years so anyway we can communicate and be helpful and supportive. Count on us. Thank you very much. Let's talk about a little bit about Harlem Week, you know what I mean? A little history about Harlem Week. Well, this is the 44th anniversary of Harlem Week, but Harlem Week is not about a community in Manhattan. It's about a state of mind. And so whether you're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or Kingston, Jamaica, or Brixton, England, or Roxbury, Massachusetts, or the South Bronx, you're in a Harlem state of mind. When you talk about Harlem, for me, there's a lot of history that, that attached to Harlem. What is the culture, I mean the history, about Harlem when you think about Harlem? A dramatically uh, a significant part of the history of Harlem is a Caribbean history, a West Indian history. My family has been in Harlem for 99 years. Next year will be 100 years that we've been in Harlem. My family is from Jamaica. I was born in Jamaica and we now have uh, six generations of my family. But if you're talking about people like Malcolm X, if you're talking about Adam Clayton Powell, if you're talking about Langston Hughes, we can go on and on. Harry Belafonte and Sidney Poitier, uh, they're all from the Caribbean. So we have a strong Caribbean history. And many of the great people who are identified with Harlem are from the Caribbean background. I know it said Harlem week, but in fact it's going for one whole month, right? So explain, um, tell us a little bit more of some of the other events that will be going on. Well, we call Harlem week the longest week in the world. It goes from the last Sunday in July, which is today, 
the first public kickoff of a great day in Harlem, and it ends on the 25th of August with the Percy Sutton Harlem 5K run. In between today and the 25th of August, there are 111 events, whether they're sporting events, children's events, cultural events, theater events, dance events, uh, there are 111 events that take place each and every day uh, throughout the month. Thank you very, 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 very much, sir, to explain some more about the Harlem Weeks. And it's a lovely event, I must say. I'm enjoying myself. Well, I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. I hope you're with us every week. Yes, sir. And anything we can do, because we've been working uh, together for years now, uh, whether we do the Caribbean Lecture Series, we do a number of things together with you. And we think you're dramatically important. And I'm very, very proud to be uh, from Jamaica. I am proud myself too. And I'm feeling great to be standing next to you also. So keep it locked to come chat with me. We will be here for the whole, for the whole entire month of Harlem Week. We will be there. We're in it. CIN TV, come chat with me. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Adana Lewis Dudley and I am the director of the Caribbean American Cultural Group. Today you are witnessing the Miss New York Continental Cultural Pageant Queen Show. We are here at Wingate Campus School and we are here to crown the 2018 Queen. Contestants hail from Belize, Guyana, Jamaica, Haiti, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Contestants were judged on swimwear, talent, evening wear, and interview. We have started this event um, since 2010, and we have been fully supported by um, our people in our community. I looked around in the community, and I realized that there's nothing is going on with our young people's people in the community. And I have decided, no, we got to do something. We need to have something to inspire them, to motivate them, a sense of competition, a sense of awareness. And um, so therefore, it just dawned on me and then I just ran with it. Hi, I'm Angela Catherine. I'm the queen, the reigning queen and the Miss New York Continental 2017. I am so happy to be here and also I'm happy for the contestants who get to be a part of such a beautiful event. Honestly, anyone who's out there who wants to join, please come on. It's a growing event and it's life changing. And it has made me become the person who I am today. I got involved in the pageant. I was um, at a fashion show and the directors and presidents saw me from across the room and they decided, oh, you might be a good candidate for 2016 pageant. Um, I was a little bit hesitant at first, but I eventually pushed myself and got a part of the pageant and I think I did great because I was the queen. <laughs>
Okay, I just recently won. I represented Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines Gregs, and I'm ecstatic. I don't even know what to say. The girls were amazing and they all tried their best and it was it was a great competition and a great show. Process, preparation, preparation, preparation. I actually pro um, prepared for this a year ago and I took my time and I had to balance. There has to be a balance, especially since I'm in school and I work and a lot of these girls are in school also. You have to have a balance and time management is key. I'm a pageant baby. I have been in pageants since I was nine years old. I lived in St. Vincent and I went in for pageants there, such as Miss Heritage, etc. And this is something that I love to do. I love pageants. Blue and Bucci, enjoy the good life. Sin, come chat to me. We're in at the house. Ziggy bless with So keep it locked. Blue and Bucci. The upscale Blue and Bucci event was held at the historical and scenic Riverview venue in Hastings on Hudson, New York, the Tennis Club of Hastings. This highly anticipated summer event featured some of New York's and Jamaica's best DJs. Amazing entertainment, tasty Caribbean food, and the opportunity to party with interesting and beautiful people. It's Blue and Bougie. We wanted to create an event that we can bring out people who are I would say responsible, independent. I mean, I, we, we don't really want to too much categorize ourselves, but we, we, we cater mostly for the individuals who really want to come out and have a wonderful time. Yeah. So if you don't want to come out and party responsibly, this is not the event for you. Blown Bougie, we don't, we don't just party, we actually, we appreciate as well. Cool. So there's an award segment within our event. Tonight we're going to be awarding Kurt Riley from Jamaica nice. and Christy Barber. Tonight you're honored and thing. How do you feel about that? How was the vibe? Um, Personally, I was truly surprised, you know. Yeah. Is, you know, when them call me, I'm kind of hung up my phone, because I say, what them people are around? <laughs> I'm around. I'm around. I'm around. Yeah. Yeah. But like three weeks work of conversations and email, yeah. I kind of realized that these people are on the up and up, so, yeah. you know, they flew me up, they took care of me, but it wasn't real until tonight when they gave me, you know, the award that we are on, 10,000 pounds. Yeah, and. You know, when I, heard, when I heard they spoke about, you know, what I do and, yeah. and they talk about the region, they talk about Trinidad, they talk about Barbados, they spoke about St. Lucia, they spoke about Italy, they spoke about Germany, they spoke about Belgium, yeah. um, they spoke about Israel, they spoke about Dubai, they spoke about Costa Rica, they spoke about Brazil. Um, basically, in, 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 in that realm, like, like South America and then when they came over here to North America they spoke about New York different areas in New York they spoke about Miami um, they spoke about Texas other areas Pennsylvania and it was surprising yeah. like it was super surprising to me that all of these people from all of these regions from all of these countries really like it's not like they pretended to know who Kurt Riley was they yeah. they actually knew no. And they knew more than I expected. Not, not because they produce Party Animal, Charlie Blacks, but you know they spoke about me working with other DJs. They spoke about me working with with um, artists from the Caribbean. They spoke about me working about UK artists and European artists. And I had no idea because a lot of those songs are not released in Jamaica. Sure. So most DJs from this region don't know them. Yeah. You understand what I mean? And it was really, it was an, it was really a surprise and it was sort of emotional to me. But I try to hold it, but you know when yeah. the camera come off, I think I'm just hold my space like I can find my voice in the dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I, am I, you understand, wipe face and think, yeah. think, think. Yeah. Cause it's about it. Yeah. I never expect it like that, to be honest with you. And True. Everyone wants to take a picture with me. The ladies want to hug me up. <laughs> and everything was just everything. <laughs> but I love this place. Yeah, nice place. And I'm glad to know I am Gil Bailey, the godfather of reggae. Yes, sir. And I must, who haven't heard me on the news station, it's 6.20 a.m. Okay. On a Saturday morning, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Good. Check me out. For some bad gospel and reggae and all this, but good is. They are, uh, you know, just 
happy to be in the moment of Nadine Sutherland and her greatness and her performance tonight. Hurry. Tribute and dedication for her own success and for Boju Bansan. So that was awesome Hurry. to see. Hurry. Yeah. So the vibe's nice tonight. I love the energy and the whole thing. The energy was so magnetic. Felt like a family event. Nice. And um, everybody, you know, I've also reconnected with so many people that I've seen over the years and knew. So that was awesome in the industry. So big up to come chat with me, Ziggy Bless. A little bit shy, still ish. But then when you go up on stage and you know, say you have to please the fans and things. So you just say, shy, look here, go take a seat, you know. Hold on a little bit, you know. And maybe just do my thing and then you, come, you can't come back afterwards. Yeah. The music is healing and I like to reach people from all different angles of this world. So fusion music yeah. is what I would like to call my kind of music. Come chat with me with Leia. Blue and Bougie is the event. My love for you in your blue and you really are match up to the event. You know. What's your name? Oh yes, my name's Stephanie. Stephanie, you're looking real good. Thank you. What brought you out today? Uh, what brought me out? Uh, Dumpling Cove. I had to really support. Food was great. Music was great. Entertainers were great. Nadine Sutherland was awesome as always. That's what brought me out. Great, man. I'm ready. I want to hear everything. Everything is okay, man. I, I lost my voice because yeah. I was shouting. For real, for real. We'll get excited. So why are you short? What are you on? No, I joke me around, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> but Blue and Bougie was hot, you see? Really? I got my cup. It's still blue cup. You know what I mean? We just spend my chips and me get my cup. You understand? Yeah, then? Really? yeah but Blue and Bougie, it's a good look. On the Hudson here, yeah. up in Westchester County, it's really bougie. Welcome. Them said Come it. chat with me. We're in another place. Blue and Bougie is the event. And I'm standing next to Nadine Sutherland, who is the sister of a virgin of mine, Gary yeah. Sutherland. I must plug that in. Gary, yeah, I'm a virgin, you know. Yeah, Gary is my brother, my brother, yeah. my big brother. Right, it's a real thing. Tonight, how was the vibe tonight? I see you perform tonight. How was the vibe tonight for you in the house? I thought it was pretty cool. It's hot, but it's summer, but I thought it was pretty cool. Getting out some recordings right now. Yeah. Just getting out some recordings. So that's what I'm focused on now. Yeah. And doing more performances like this and yeah. bonding with my audience and bonding with my friends and you know, just touching base. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. Simply Cows.